All right. We'll tell you you're the best after you tell us how you did it. Hey, how can I refuse a dying man's last request? Okay, mm -hmm. Delure, you're the best. Vincent Cassel is a French actor and producer who has achieved success in both popular and intellectual cinema. His controversial characters never fail to impress viewers, and his films are memorable upon the first viewing. In this video, we will tell you about the actor's life and his artistic path. Vincent Cassel, How the Frenchman Who Conquered Hollywood Lives Vincent Cassel was born on November 23, 1966 in Paris. His mother, Sabine Latique, was engaged in journalism. And his father, Jean-Pierre Cassel, who was born Crochon, was a famous actor. As a matter of fact, Crochon had been our star's surname since birth. His brother, Matthias, became the leader of a French rap group and his half-sister, Cecil, became an actress and singer. After his parents' divorce in 1980, Vincent stayed with his mother and soon began to show his adolescent rebelliousness. He was often caught shoplifting and once attempting to steal a car. This is despite the fact that Cassell Sr. raised his children in a strict manner and the young Vincent studied in the elite religious boarding schools from which, however, he escaped. In an interview, he said that he had changed four schools and the Catholic one, according to the celebrity, turned him into an atheist. Although he did not become a religious man, this upbringing taught him to respect the faith of others. The boy was not particularly drawn to religious books and was much more interested in theatrical performances in which he participated with great pleasure, but his father did not approve of that. At one point, Vincent decided to pursue his dream of becoming a clown and enrolled himself in circus school. However, as the actor himself declares, he was smart enough to quit circus and switch to acrobatics, hence he graduated from the Annie Fratellini Circus School with a degree in acrobatics and even performed in circuses for a few years. He also participated in a street circus show that his classmates had come up with. It was not entirely successful, but he learned an important lesson in acting. If you perform well, people will always give you money. He continued his street career in the US. The 17-year-old came to the United States with the intention of becoming a famous actor. Then he took his father's stage name and began to call himself Cassell. But contrary to all expectations, dream job offers were not forthcoming. He then had to earn a living, portraying a living sculpture in an American park. This role did not suit the young, ambitious Frenchman, and soon he returned to his native Paris, where he worked for several years at the Jean-Louis Barreau Theatre. Cassell made his debut on television in 1988 in an episode of the series The English Beauty, and his first film was in 1989 under the title Storks Are Not What They're Thought Of. In 1992, he starred in the movie Love and Chocolate, and in 1993, he appeared with his father in the melodrama Métis and appeared in an episode of the TV series The Intrepid. Soon, Cassell starred in an episode of the long-running detective series The Judge is a Woman and in three little-known French short films. He also played a cameo role in a Renault Clio commercial. The role of a troubled young man living on the outskirts of Paris in the movie Hatred helped him gain wide recognition. His work in this film earned our star a Caesar nomination in the categories Best Actor and Most Promising Actor. In the same period, he appeared in the films Jefferson in Paris and Adultery, A User's Guide, as well as in several TV series. In 1996, viewers saw the actor alongside Monica Bellucci in the melodrama The Apartment. Mais bon, moi en fait, dans le fond, ce qui m'intéresse vraiment, c'est d'écrire. Hmm, un écrivain. Bah, enfin, oui, enfin, un demi, j'ai écrit qu'une moitié de roman. It is noteworthy that the fiery Italian woman did not like our hero at first sight, and they have entered into animosity towards each other during their joint work. Monica thought of Vincent as an arrogant star, and he thought of her as a busty model who thinks she is an actress. After another day of shooting, Cassell went to a nightclub where he decided to meet a girl who seemed to him incredibly graceful from behind. He was very surprised to see that the beauty he had his eyes on turned out to be his film partner. After that, the ice between them was broken, and soon the prominent Frenchman finally fell prey to the captivating charms of one of the most beautiful women in the world. In the same year, the star couple delighted the audience with their appearance in the movie As You Want Me. In addition, the actor played the main role in the drama The Pupil. 
Among other notable works is the 1997 crime film Doberman, where our hero again starred with his future wife. Then he tried the roles of director, screenwriter, and producer of a short film, Shabbat Night Fever, but he did not act in it. The following year, Vincent played a role in the historical drama Elizabeth and the film Pleasure. In 1999, after a guest marriage, Cassell and Bellucci got formally married. It should be said that the actor had been persuading Monica to marry him for three years. Perhaps the stubborn Italian woman would have kept refusing if the man had not gone through an accident. However, even after the wedding, the couple spent most of their time apart. Monica was in Rome and Vincent was in Paris. The thing is that at the beginning of their romantic relationship, Bellucci set a condition. Everyone has their own life and one should not break the boundaries of the other. In the same year, they appeared together in the drama Unruly, and Cassell played in Luke Besson's film The Messenger, The Story of Joan of Arc, and appeared in the British black comedy Guest House Paradiso. By that time, Vincent had established the role of the straightforward and unpredictable actor ready for any experiment. In 2000, the thriller The Crimson Rivers was released, which presented to the world the acting duo of Vincent Cassell and Jean Reno. The French film stars were portrayed as policemen investigating two seemingly unrelated cases. The role of the young detective Max Kerkurian brought our hero a nomination for the European Film Academy Awards and made him one of the most recognizable personalities of French cinema. Being at the peak of popularity, the 35-year-old Vincent made a new attempt to conquer Hollywood. In 2001, he appeared in the comedy drama Birthday Girl, where the actor convincingly played a Russian gangster named Alexei. In addition, Cassell's filmography was enriched by the historical horror film Brotherhood of the Wolf, the crime drama Read My Lips, and the animated film Shrek, where he voiced Robin Hood. Be still, mon chéri, for I am your savior, and I am rescuing you from this green... <laughs> Beast. In 2002, our hero played one of the main roles and acted as co-producer of Gaspar Noe's film Irreversible. Interestingly, the director originally intended to explore the topic of long-term relationships because he wanted to film a real couple which corresponds perfectly to Vincent and Monica. Noe embodied his idea later in the drama Love, but Irreversible was much darker. Cassell himself considers Irreversible as their best work together with Bellucci. Subsequently, there was the release of the film The Reckoning, in which the actor, along with Paul Bettany and Willem Dafoe, had to travel to the 14th century to save a woman accused of witchcraft from execution. In 2004, Cassell appeared in the fantasy western Blueberry and in the crime comedy Ocean's 12. In it, the actor showed mastery of the Brazilian martial art of capoeira, which he has long been fond of. His character's experience in capoeira was a key element of the film, and Vincent's performance has received flattering reviews from critics. I guess the only way to know who's the best of us, for sure, is to go after the same object. In March, another joint movie of the Cassell Bellucci star couple, Secret Agents, premiered, and soon there was a joyful event in their personal life when they became parents. Their first child, daughter Diva, was born on September 12, 2004, in Rome. In 2005, our hero appeared in the drama Derailed, and a year later, viewers saw the actor in the comedy thriller Shitan. Then he starred in the films Ocean's 13. He voiced a character in the animated series Lascars and also appeared in the comedy His Majesty Minor and the thriller mystery Eastern Promises. Hmm. This is respect. The film premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival, where it won the Audience Award. In the film, Cassell again tried on the image of a Russian gangster. During filming, he didn't want to memorize incomprehensible Russian phrases and asked the director to revoice him. However, David Cronenberg insisted that Cassell learn the text. For the record, Vincent is a multilingual actor who speaks his native French as well as English, Portuguese, Italian, and even basic spoken Russian. In preparation for his role in the 2008 two-part biographical crime drama, Mayreen, Public Enemy No. 1. The actor was forced to put on 44 pounds in a few months. To do this, Cassell drank at least two milkshakes of 1,500 calories a day. The role of a French gangster brought him critical acclaim and a César Award for Best Actor. In October 2008, our hero became the face of the new man's fragrance by Yves Saint Laurent, and soon he was seen in the Brazilian drama Adrift. Moreover, he voiced Tony from the animated film Lascar. 
In 2009, the actor's apartment in Paris was robbed. The thieves who committed the crime stole several pieces of jewelry worth an estimated 80,000 euros, two computers, and the Italian passport of his wife Monica Bellucci. The former year, together with Natalie Portman and Mila Kunis, Vincent starred in the critically acclaimed film Black Swan. Perfection is not just about control. It's also about letting go. Surprise yourself so you can surprise the audience. For his work in this film, together with the entire cast, Cassell was nominated for the Screen Actors Guild Award. He took the role of a choreographer and, being convinced that the actor must be able to do everything, engaged in ballet. He later said in an interview that ballet was an awfully difficult job. In 2010, Cassell starred in the film Our Day Will Come, becoming also one of the producers of the project. Simultaneously, he was approved for the role of the central character in the new adaptation of the famous novels about the genius criminal Van Thomas. However, it later became known that the actor refused to participate due to the busy filming schedule. On May 21st, he had another child when Monica gave birth to a daughter, Leone. Shortly after this addition, the Star family reunited and moved to Rio. Cassell has long been in love with Brazil and the culture of that country. However, many journalists linked the couple's move to the tax increase on rich people in France to 75%. In 2011, Vincent played a major role in the mystical thriller The Monk, which brought him 930,000 euros and also starred in David Cronenberg's film A Dangerous Method. Tell me, do you find the best way to enhance your popularity with your patients is to tell them whatever it is they most want to hear? The film premiered at the Venice Film Festival. In 2013, the filmography of our star was supplemented by a crime thriller called Trant. Meanwhile, the marriage of the celebrity couple had worn itself out, and on August 26, the couple announced their separation. Monica said that the reason was their way of life, but they will always love each other and will remain close, kindred people. Vincent added, Sometimes marriages break up, but people don't break up, as in our case. We will always be together. In 2014, the Frenchman played the Beast in a fantasy based on the fairy tale Beauty and the Beast. It is noteworthy that Cassell had to play all the scenes as the Beast twice. First, he was filmed in costume and makeup, and then the emphasis was to impose his facial expression on the digital head of the character. In addition, our star appeared in the movie Rio, I Love You. The year 2015 was extremely fruitful. The actor tried on the image of the Russian major Kuzmin in the thriller Child 44, starred in the drama One Wild Moment, and voiced the fox in the cartoon The Little Prince. Cassell also starred in the film's Tale of Tales. The Frenchman also appeared in the drama Partisan and played the main role in the psychological drama My King. The film was nominated for a Caesar Award in eight categories. Meanwhile, vacationing in Ibiza, Vincent met model Tina Kuniki, who is 31 years younger than him. When they began dating, he was 49 and she barely turned 18. Tina said that at the moment of acquaintance, she did not realize that she met a famous actor. They found themselves in the same place at the same time and felt a mutual affection. After learning how young his new acquaintance was, Cassell was confused, but immediately asked to meet the girl's father. According to the celebrity, at that time, he acted impulsively and could not even explain his actions. He just wanted to be close to Tina. The meeting with her father went well, and Vincent began a closer relationship with the teenage beauty. At the end of November 2016, the couple made their first appearance together. It happened at the Parade of Angels of the Victoria's Secret lingerie brand in Paris. The two lived in Brazil for a while, but for the sake of his beloved, Castle moved back to France. In the same 2016, the actor pleased fans with his participation in the spy thriller Jason Bourne. In the spring, he starred in the advertising campaign of the famous French brand Vionnet, whose sunglasses have been worn by film stars for decades. He also starred in the French-Canadian drama It's Only the End of the World. The film was shown in the main competition program at the Cannes Film Festival, where it won the Grand Jury Prize. The following year, Vincent won the Genie Award of the Canadian Academy of Film and Television for his supporting role in this film. A year later, our hero starred as the French painter Paul Gauguin in the biographical melodrama Gauguin Voyage to Tahiti and starred in the Brazilian film The Movie of My Life. The year 2018 was extremely eventful for the actor. He was involved in five films simultaneously, The Emperor of Paris, The Great Mystical Circus, Default, The World is Yours, and Black Tie. In the last two films, he also served as co-producer. Such a busy schedule did not interfere with the personal life of our hero who married Tina Kuniki in August. They got married in an old chapel in Bidar in the south of France, and the wedding ceremony took place in the local town hall. The ceremony was informal and attended by family and friends of the newlyweds only. The very next year, they became parents. Their daughter, Amazoni, named after the Amazon River, was born on April 19th. Concentrating on the joys of family life, Cassell worked less than usual that year. 
acting only in a drama about volunteering called The Specials. The year 2021, however, turned out to be more eventful in terms of work. In January, there was the premiere of the sci-fi movie Underwater, and in the spring, season 3 of the series Westworld was released, in which Vincent played the role of the antagonist. He also appeared in the comedy drama A Friendly Tale and the chronologically edited 2002 film Irreversible, called Irreversible Integral Inversion. In early 2021, Koenigke and Cassell became ambassadors for the French clothing and accessories brand The Couples. The following year, Cassell voiced one of the characters in the animated film Fireheart, and in August, his apartment in Paris was robbed for the second time. The police arrived on the scene, arrested three suspects, and took them into custody. In early 2023, Vincent became the face of the new Prada advertising campaign, and the world premiere of the adventure comedy Asterix and Obelix, The Middle Kingdom, took place on February 1st. In it, the Frenchman appeared as Julius Caesar. Bon, mais moi je vais y aller, hein. C'est pas tout, mais je suis pas d'ici, moi. Je retourne à Rome. On se tient au courant? Et c'est ça! Tu veux pas nous laisser comme ça, là? Ils sont un million! C'était pas ma guerre. A week later, the official trailer for the series Liaison with Cassell and Eva Green in the lead roles appeared online. Initially, they wanted to show the debut episode before the end of the year 2022, but the creators did not meet the deadline, so the project premiered on February 24. Moreover, the celebrity was involved in a new film adaptation of the novel by Alexander Dumas, The Three Musketeers, D'Artagnan as Athos, and in December, the release of the film The Three Musketeers, Milady, which is now in post-production, is scheduled. Our star said in an interview that he likes very simple things, likes eating well, being with his friends and family. However, he does not like to talk to journalists because the most interesting thing he can say has already been said by him in his films. Vincent admits that he likes to play villains and create movies. He also said that if not an acting career, he could have been a great chiropractor. He used to have broken bones when he was boxing, so he considers osteopaths and other such specialists to be godsend. Vincent Cassell has a net worth of $40 million. Despite the fact that the actor lives in Paris, he regularly travels to his beloved Brazil, where he has a house and his own production company. According to the star, this country gives him peace of mind and the arrogant paparazzi approach him less there. Even though the general public does not know the contents of the star's car fleet, we know from his interviews that he is a car enthusiast and his cars must have power, speed, and masculine style. The actor was even criticized when he said he didn't think men who drive a Fiat 500 or Mini Cooper were manly enough. In one of his early interviews, Vincent said he dreamed of a Batmobile as a child, and his first car was a green Renault 20. The car ended up being burned on the set of the movie Hatred. Later, he moved to a Volkswagen BR6, and in 2011, he starred in a commercial for the Italian car company Lancia. It is also interesting that the day after getting his driver's license, our star drove through Paris and Nice at a speed of 142 miles per hour. Recently, it became known that Vincent Cassell is getting a divorce from his wife. He deleted all joint pictures with Tina on Instagram. According to film historian Tim Palmer, Cassell is one of the most charismatic and peculiar stars of modern French cinema, with a unique and charming appearance that has made him a favorite of audiences and critics alike. Do you agree with the expert's opinion? Nouveau chapitre. Après César, le séducteur, César le stratège. Attends, attends. Je change de rouleau et je suis à toi, hein? If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.